Well, hey guys, I'm back. And yeah, I already opened the box. Um, I was a little confused, so I opened the box. I got two two, two things in one box, I, I, whatever. It, it is, I'm shutting up. Hey guys, I'm back. I have Monthly Knife Club's tier two name brand. Um, and it is a Kubi, which I'm always happy with. Kubi makes some great knives. They make some, they make some that are like, eh. Some of their, their lower ones. Actually, I love the quality of Kubi. It's just some of their designs are a little wonky to me sometimes, but I love I love the quality you get with Kubi. So the tier two name brand, and this is for May. So, you know, wrapping up, sometimes things arrive at the end of the month. So we're gonna open this up. While I'm doing that, take a moment, if you would, to make sure you hit subscribe and, oh, Petey Kitty Cat, Petey Kitty Cat appearance. You're gonna sit down right in front of the camera, aren't you? Get Awesome. Everybody wants to see your butt. That's what they're here for. Cat butt. You won't come love me when I'm not doing stuff. Oh, I thought for a minute you're gonna walk away. Okay, I'll do this with you right here. That's fine. So anyway, as I was saying, and PETA I guess came to reinforce that, um, do me a favor, make sure you're subscribed, turn on your notifications, and like comment and like, or dislike. Disliking and liking, same engagement on the channel, either way, it's cool. So let's see what we got here. Um, we've got a 14C28N Sandvik blade. We've got G, oh, Jade. We've got Jade. Okay, I'm shutting up now. Don't look at me like that. I'm getting to the knife. So you can't see his face, his condescending face. All you can see is his butt and his tail. Um, I need a knife to open the knife. That's always fun. Oh, there is, there are very few awesome color combinations like a black blade and jade. Ooh, I love it. You, you're kind of on the card, dude. Yeah, you're just gonna purr like, haha, I know I'm in your way. So, very nice. Yes, I'm keep, I'll keep petting you. Very nice combination there. Love the jade. Cause you know, jade comes in different shades. There are 50 shades of jade. And this is the kind of the, I don't know, we, we assign names to them. There's like the ghost jade, the pale, the minty, the very jade jade. This is like what I call like the minty jade. I don't have any other jade examples right in front of me to show you. I really like the, um, well, this is, this is dyed a little bit. Um, you know, I did my rat one I like this. Um, so this doesn't really count. I can't count this as, but uh, no, I got nothing else in front of me. But I really like the very, the very kind of dark green, the swimming pool jade, as as uh, Wilkins calls it. Um, but this is a really nice one. I like this this kind of mintier jade better than like the uh, the goat, what people call the ghost jade, which is like a lighter and um, whatever. Okay, so fit and finish looks really good. I mean, really nice. You, I'm very, very minimalist. I like that. Just a couple screws on the frame. Really, um, you've got over here by the pommel type area. Clip is reversible. That's a tight clip though. You're gonna wanna work that in, break that in a little bit. But deep carry, reversible, left or right. You just gonna sit here the whole time? I'm okay with that. Um, so front flipper I'm assuming oh that's a nice oh that's a sweet blade too that's really nice action actually I was I was kind of wondering how nice and easy that would be and so you've got the option of the thumb rotate actually that doesn't work so well I'm a little hindered by cat butt but index finger flip it and I get it I, I hear from people a lot who are unfamiliar with front flippers and have a little trouble. It's like anything else, any other mechanism. You practice with it, you get it down, and um, yes, especially uh, something like, like an index finger rotation can be a little awkward at first, but once you get it down, see, I'm even, you just gotta get the finger placement and the mechanics, and it's, you know, just like some people have trouble at first with the middle finger flip, um, or anything else. Once you get it down, you'll get it down. And it's it's kind of a, a fidgety, fun way to open a knife. Um, oh, you're all done? Okay, thanks for stopping by. So, 
it's got a nice kind of subtle dark stone wash. Love the blade shape. This is a seriously, this is a knife that is going to be carried for real. Not just because I love the color combination, but it's uh, EDC wise, great size. It's comfortable, a little bit small, not 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 too small, it, a little uh, like a like a hair small for my usual taste, but um, it does fill out my whole hand, which is great, which I really appreciate. Um, just a little bit of you know oil on it, probably from the pivot. Um, the Sandvik steel, so this is the uh, 14C28, step up from the 12C27. There's kind of like two levels of that Sandvik steel. This is the higher quality one. Uh, very good for EDC. Uh, decent edge holding. Um, decent, uh, like pretty good corrosion resistance. Um, the thing is, it's it'll hold an edge fairly well, um, but it's not too difficult to put that edge back on when you need to. Um, it's it's a it is a very good um, EDC steel, and this is what the higher end Moras use for their stainless steel, uh, like the Garberg and stuff. Um, so it, it is it's a good steel. Um, I really the blade shape on this is you know really nice. The lock, easy to access. Um, it's got. Can you, you kind of? I guess you could if you got the mechanic. If you got the mechanics down just right. I'm not good at middle finger flipping anyway. But if you got the mechanics down just right, I think you could do a middle finger flip on this. Um, but I like the shape of it. I mean, aesthetically pleasing. It's a cool knife. Now remember what Monthly Knife Club does is they uh, they give you the cost of the subscription, right? And then they give you the the value of the knife, where you're gonna find it around on the internet. So that's what you'll look for. I forgot to show you the specs ahead of time. So there you go. I I love this. It's on bearings, so yes, we are drop shutty. Um, it's this is this is a knife that's absolutely gonna get in my pocket often. Now being a Kubi, I have no doubts of its, um, you know, finish right out of the factory, but yeah, oh, that is so super smooth. And I'm trying to get a little curly cues, there we go. It'd be easier to do on a nice uncut, yeah. Very nicely finished. I don't, do I have 550 cord around? I usually do. Oh, let's do a slice, like no problem. Didn't even feel it go through there. Let's do a pull through. Uh, PETA, that was a very dangerous thing you just did. The blade design is great because you can get contact, like if you're cutting, uh, full contact with that blade on the ground and pew, pew, pew. Nice pew. I like the pew. I support the pew. So overall, uh, oh yeah, and of course, dead center. Uh, nice knife, really nice knife. I like it, I haven't seen this Kubi before and I, I'm usually looking around and seeing stuff. The G10, by the way, slightly textured, gives you a nice grip. Definitely worth the money on this one. Uh, like I said, this is, this is a knife that's going to get pocket time for sure. Um, love it, love the design, love the feel. Yeah, I haven't seen this one around yet, but I'm really glad. This is awesome. I, I really like this. Um, I'm generally, like I, I always say this, I, you know, every once in a while, someone comes in Monthly Knife Club, then I'm just like, well, yeah. um, but usually I can find somebody that wants to trade it or, you know, I can uh, just put it in the collection, you know, as as a piece in the collection. But most of the time I get stuff like this that, that I'm re actually really happy with. And I would, I mean, this is, I just, I love the looks of it but it's also a really nice, comfortable EDC sized piece. So that's cool. So what do you guys think of this? So remember, this is May, uh, not June. So you'll see this in the beginning of June, but this is the May tier two name brand, um, which it just, yeah, it, it, the action on that is great. So I'm really happy with this. Um, this is really cool and, you know, very nice. Would like to get your thoughts on it. What do you think? Do you guys, I mean, is it just me? Do you love the way that, I love the way that this thing works. I think it's really cool. Um, so yeah, share your thoughts. What do you think um, of this little guy? Would you carry it? I bet you would. I bet you would. I'd carry it. Would you carry me? I'd carry me. 
I'd carry me so hard. Um, that was disturbing, and I apologize. So anyway, guys, uh, I'll have a link to Monthly Knife Club where you can check out all their different things because I really love the company. And Daryl is a cool dude, and uh, I support him and his thing, his whole business. Uh, I've had many conversations with him. He's awesome. But you know who else is awesome? Oh, look at that segue. Uh, you guys are all uh, totally awesome, and I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll be back again real soon.